Hi. It's me, Tim, again. I'm looking for Chaz. I'm supposed to meet him here from Coro y Moi. Chaz, man. Hey. Not far from the house of Vans is a place that I think Toro y Moi is really gonna like. The thing, it's a junk shop whose basement is filled floor to ceiling with what must be over a million moldy old records. I don't know what this is, but this guy's whole look is amazing. His eyebrows have a full-blown hairdo. <laughs> look at that. It's, it's like, good. I don't want it bald between my eyebrows. To... I do not want to have a bald <laughs> top of my nose. I said, keep the unibrow. So jazz is the thing I want to ask you about. I don't know, your whole bit seems super jazzy. Kind of like, I'm just sort of trying my attempt at jazz in almost an ironic way. Well, you know I don't, chords not, and stuff, though, right? I know a couple of chords. Uh, <laughs> I know about blue notes, though. I've seen you play. <laughs> the first, like, song that I did that was um, sort of in the R&B realm was Kalamic off of Causes of This. And I was, like, almost jokingly attempting at R&B or something, you know, doing my impression of what a Jay Dilla song sounds like. And then it turned into what that album was, but... jam with humans? Yeah, I like jamming with humans. When you're writing? Um, when I'm writing, I sort of just jam by myself. <laughs> That's what I was asking. That's just how it's been since I started, you know, during Tori Moi, and it was just like a bedroom thing, and it still is, and I kind of like that part. That's just like my my outlet, you know. But, but then, then like, when we play as a live band, it's totally different. That's thing. what I mean. Yeah. You're like reconstituting through jazz, through R&B, through you. Yeah. Just by yourself, then through all these other people for yeah. the live thing. Is that how do you like keep that feeling really direct? There's some jam parts, and I, that was done intentionally. Like when I like sort of wrote the new songs, and I was like, let's just sort of jam out here. Like this. Just do whatever you want. Mostly, I come down here not for the records, but for the frottage. <laughs> You just stand down here long mm -hmm. enough and you are going to get rubbed up on by some of the best DJs in New York. <laughs> Usually I'll face this way so that they will cross me front to front. What's your guitarist name? Seth. Man, he is like a big influence in my guitar playing. Oh, really? Yeah. Like that record, I think it was Go Forth that made me want to get a delay pedal. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was like, now he's like drowning in delay. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying a while ago, like, I started off in bands. It was always fun if it's like a good, you know, like sweaty show, it's packed, you play faster sometimes. Um, I kind of miss that. If it's like a more quiet, chill show, just play it normal or whatever. Maybe we could change these lives. I just wanna go Some really good stuff right back here. The best stuff is actually just right. <laughs> Come back here. I got to show you this one record. It's it's just back here. Oh wow. Yeah, you see, this is where the good records are. It's probably like a dead rat back here. You think? What, what would you do if you saw your album in the thrift store? I've seen it <laughs> a bunch. I'm always like, oh good. I mean, someone bought it. Yeah. <laughs> Can't be in the thrift store unless somebody had it. Don't jump me off right here. Dad, not in front of everybody. I Please. want you back. Listen, listen. Chaswick? What's your, what's your middle name? Bradley. Chadwick Bradley? I want you to have a good time. Yeah.